All right, well, we're supposed to wait for uh, Carla here. <laughs> Bud, they don't know what you're talking about. We're supposed to wait for the tour. Carla, you know, Carla. 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 Oh, I love Carla. She's a son of a bitch, right? <laughs> yeah, don't give her a knife, though. I know, right? We're gonna grab a tuk tuk or a tuk tuk <laughs> to get there. Ah. Un momento. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, the cobblestones make it a very bumpy ride. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Hola, nice to meet you. I'm Axel. Nice to meet you. I'm going to be your uh, interpreter today. They must have like a community fair here or something. because it feels so good to be climbing a little bit. <laughs> so basically he was saying where he grows the coffee, uh, it's at about 6,000 feet. Estas son yeah. plantas de coffee café. beans. Oh. Yeah. Those are coffee trees. Uh -huh. But the coffee beans are green yet because it's not their season to harvest the coffee. W what are these plants here? Coffee, that's coffee and that's beans. That is bean. Oh. Between the coffee, they grow some uh, beans. Yeah. Because this year, this coffee is not going to produce any coffee bean. Uh -huh. yeah. The coffee trees start to produce around three years after planting. Then when the coffee is growing, they plant this kind of vegetables to sell to get some money. Welcome to coffee land. The sun helps to produce more coffee. Mm -hmm. That is good for them. But the tree after that production, that kind of production, um, it's tired mm. and it's not going to produce the next, next year mm. or um, it's going to change the flavor of the coffee. So this is a little baby coffee bean. <laughs> so cute. Oh, you must pick in this way, letting this little trunk here because from this is going to grow a new flower the next year. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ahora es fuerte porque está verde. Now it's very hard because it's not dry. <laughs> the work is not difficult. hard work, difficult work, but you must pick slowly. To pick coffee, there is a lot of people here, like families, uh, children, um, women, men, everybody comes to fields and start to pick. We're, we're heading out of here, but I just thought it was really cool that, you know, right in this area where they're growing the coffee, you got the coffee all over the place, and then you've got the plants right here on the trees to make the chicha, which is their alcoholic drink. So, in the same farm, same area, you can produce what you need to make coffee in the morning and booze in the evening. <laughs> My kind of place. Yeah. 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 over there it's a pulping machine take off the first husk of the of the coffee beans 
the red one. Years ago, they used a um, bicycle adapted mm -hmm. to this uh, pogo machine. You can see how the machine taking off the husk and mm -hmm. let the coffee beans in this way. After wash the coffee beans, they dry and sometimes yards if they have one if they don't have they put in roofs they must move frequently to get um even dry mm -hmm. and they must move around third to four times in a day if it's a hot weather it takes around seven days to dry the coffee and they get in this way you can take some seeds some of the coffee beans mm -hmm. and that that is the second husk cool coffee bean. Oh. oh, interesting. So there's two. Sorry. Puedes ver, tiene que tener un color jade. The color, it's uh, it must be like jade. Then they take this um, coffee to another machine. This uh, machine takes off the second husk and becomes from this to this coffee. Mm -hmm. This is um, raw coffee. This kind of coffee, this is ready to export. They export in this way, or ready to roast. Mm -hmm. It works in a step like this. Now, it's going to put the air out of the coffee. Air out Three shells. The first one is the red thing out from the air. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Feel bad. Good. She's as más fuerte que yo. Do you want to? I'm good. No, nope, I'm good. Oh, buddy. Did you can smell it now. It smells really good. No. <laughs> that is like good coffee. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, well, today is another day I will be participating in a uh, cruiser summer camp. <laughs> there is a woman who sail um, Facebook meetup today at a restaurant along the Rio. So I'm just getting ready to catch the lancha that will take us there. So good. So, women who sail Western Caribbean, watch out, men. There's a lot of ladies. So, thanks for coming. I'm Tracy. I am uh, came out of Texas on uh, Saga Sea. We stick around the Western Caribbean because I'm, I'm not the sailor, I'm the gypsy, and my husband's lazy. So, <laughs> me and the boat 2K and my husband. And the 2K, I always have to explain. <laughs> my name is Kaya, his name is Hjell, that's the 2K. Oh, so if you ever see it with a slash and just a one, then something happens. <laughs> <laughs> we are, uh, we've been sailing now since last June from Norway and down here, and we are on our way around the world. Uh, I'm Margarita from Portugal. I'm a new sailor too. Last year I was sailing around Australia with my husband. But something happened and we got a new boat in Florida and we just sell it down to here. And we got an intent to sell it to back to Australia. 
I'm Brenda. I'm on a home built, built sailing catamaran Ponteray. My husband and I uh, spent a lot of years building it. And the past four years we've been living aboard full time. I'm Karen. My husband and I are on uh, the sailboat Compromise. And the reason it's called a Compromise is because I wanted a catamaran, but we couldn't afford it. <laughs> So we got the widest sailboat we could find, which is the Beneteau, it's 14 feet wide. So we hail out of Houston, Texas, and this is our fifth year on the boat. I'm a young sailor, and I left Belgium in 2011, so it's now seven years that I'm sailing around. I um, went for uh, sailing around the world in four years, so I have a little delay, but <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. I, I love it, and I, I still co uh, continue. But now the boat is at uh, Ram Marina because she needs a little bit of maintenance. So I think I will be here for a couple of months and after that uh, the plan is to go to the Pacific. Alright, well a couple hours later and lots of awesome relationships later uh, we're heading back. Bye, Kimberly. So that was really cool. Just got back to Ram. It was awesome hanging out with other female cruisers and sailors. I learned a lot. I got my lady on, <laughs> and it was really cool. Well, we've been in uh, the Rio Dulce for about a month now. Now that I'm kind of used to the area, I've been going into Fronteras instead of using the Casa Guatemala boat. Um, just because I kind of have a better understanding of the layout of the town and it is a lot cheaper. So I'm going to take you guys with me to show you uh, how much I've learned and show you kind of the kooky things about grocery shopping in Latin America. <laughs> so I always bring my AquaQuest um, dry bag. I love it because most dry bags are like this. So they just are like over the shoulder and they're not padded and carrying groceries around for more than an hour at a time that starts to kill my back. So I love the AquaQuest because it's got this awesome foam padding. It's got these really, really nifty hip straps so I can keep my extra money. <laughs> my pepper spray and chapstick on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this dry bag for um, meats. I always bring a dry pack for the meats. And then I'll bring two extra kind of uh, material bags just in case things get a little bit crazy. <laughs> Usually when I go grocery shopping, I think I'll only need one or two bags and I end up coming back totally loaded um, and it's kind of crazy trying to fit in the street with all my bags <laughs> and it's hot and heavy <laughs> and a big challenge. Alright so I got to Sundog uh, restaurant which is where I like to leave the dinghy. So this is kind of our favorite place to come uh, for a delicious salad or pizza and also to hang out with Sasha. He's our favorite bartender over here. <laughs> right, I like using Sundog stock because they're super friendly and they're really close to town. That's it. All right, I'm all packed up. Got my bag fully stuffed. Couldn't fit that in there. That was uh, 48 quetzales, under $10 for all those vegetables, which is sweet. Getting my phone topped up while I'm in the area. This is my favorite little uh, pharmacy to come to because the ladies are really nice. <laughs> Super hot. Ugh. Okay, so this little shop is kind of like the expat shop. My cheese is 150 quetzales, which is more than the meats and vegetables put together. Just kind of funny, but that's what you get if you want to buy a gringo product. Okay, finally finished shopping. <laughs> 
so pooped. <laughs> Time to go back to the boat. What are we doing? We're uh, we're going zip lining. All right. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Are you going birthday zip lining or just normal zip lining? Um, well, I'm going birthday zip lining. Oh. <laughs> Feliz cumpleaños, Jordan. This is gonna be a very close and flattering shot. Oh yeah, I can tell. You're pretty good though. Nice one, buddy. I was then treated to a traditional Norwegian birthday song and dance, which I gotta say beats the American version, hands down. <laughs> and our good friend John helped us celebrate by singing an old sea shanty. And like the sailors who sang these songs long ago, we all felt the same pull the same desire to take on the risk, to bear the burden, and head out to sea once again. Turn around the caps to heave a pole. Heave a pole. About ship station, boys, be handy. Handy. We're bound for Valparaiso around the world. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If that got you in the coffee mood, you are in luck uh, because we're gonna be hosting a live stream this coming Monday at 6 p.m. EST and we're gonna be giving away a Project Atticus mug. If you haven't yet, check out our swag shop in the description below. Again, that's 6 p.m. EST on Monday and if you never wanna miss another live stream, you can always text ATTICUS to the number 43506 and we'll send you a text notification 15 minutes before we go live so you'll never miss another live stream. Thank you.